Pokemon's Demon. Hey folks, this is the Iwata Raised Ridge Airbrush Cleaning Mat. Um, I know many people would probably say it's an expense you wouldn't need to go to. I'm actually thinking I'm disagreeing. Um, I quite like this. Um, A, when I take parts out, I am basically cack-handed. Um, I'm not the most gentle and I've broken a few needles by dropping them and things like that. Not lost any nozzles, but I know people have lost nozzles as well. Um, but this with a soft surface and then a rubberized sticky back means that this isn't going to get knocked or move around. I mean, that's gripping really reasonably well to the tray. Um, plus the softness just means that when I take the airbrush apart at the cleaning booth rather than at the sink, although I could easily just lift this through to the sink as well and put all my parts on that, then I know exactly where they are when I'm cleaning them because they're safe, they're not getting damaged by a hard surface. Um, I'm actually reasonably impressed. It's also got the nice graphic of just the internals of the airbrush. Um, so it may be if you're looking for a solution of to where you put your brush down when you're cleaning it so you don't lose any of the parts and you don't want to use basins etc or small plastic tubs which is the way I tended to go. Um, this could be a very good option for you. Say that soft part means that if I drop my needle I reckon my needle should be safe. I'm not going to test it exactly that because I don't want to find myself completely wrong um, but overall it's a softer surface for the needle to land on than it is a hard plastic surface or your kitchen worktops or wherever it else is you clean your airbrush so it could be something you may want to think about investing in if you've got a few extra bucks um, at one point because I'm reasonably impressed. So whilst I'm using this mat, just as my, my tester and seeing how I enjoy using it, um, I'm going to show you another kit that we bought as well, or at least a couple of components of that kit, because it, for just two parts alone, I would say this kit's worth buying. Um, other stuff in it is invaluable and it's all stuff you need, but there's two components of the kit that I would say go out, go and buy the kit, because they are brilliant. So it's the Iwata's airbrush cleaning kit, um, and the first tool that I want to show you is this. And it's a nozzle wrench. It's not your usual spanner that you get with all your IWAT hairbrushes or you get different ones depending on your brush. It's this little baby there. And what happens is your nozzle fits straight into the end there. And I love it. Um, it's a nicer tool to use. It's also kind of pretty. Um, it's a nicer tool to use. It's an easier tool to lock onto. Now it fits nearly all IWATA nozzles. Um, the only ones that it doesn't fit is the Eclipse series and the Neo TRN2 side feed trigger airbrush. That's every other airbrush that they do. So, kind of do this one handed. I'll put that in. So, you can see on the end, there's the nozzle just sitting in, ready to locate and screw in. Um, it's just a much simpler, much easier, much nicer tool to use. So that's one of the tools out of the box that I would say it's invaluable buying it for. The other tool is this black box. So what's the black box I hear you ask? The black box is an absolutely fantastic um, magnifying set. It's a 30 times and a 60 times magnifying set which comes with two LED colours. comes with the white which you just saw and also comes with the blue. Um, why is it so good? Well, I've cleaned the airbrush the way I would normally clean it, thinking it's going to be immaculate, looked immaculate, everything's running nice and clean and clear, until I got this baby out, um, grabbed my tweezers, um, and had a good look through the magnifying glass, and the inside of the nozzle is filthy. Um, there's paint residue all round the inside which using my human eye looked immaculate the way I would normally bring it up and look at it close and have a good look but actually getting the magnifying glasses out and have a really good look in it's amazing the amount of debris that's still in that nozzle so the nozzle's going to go in for a soak um, and then once it's a good soak I'll give it another wee clean again with my interdentals um, we've got I want is interdentals here that come with it we've got the three sizes So I'll give it another wee clean with that and then put it back together. Apocalypse.
Skin Man.